And if somebody is on the fence or on the bubble thinking about joining and they're hesitant for whatever reason, what would you, what would you share with them? Jump in, take the dive. Because when I was in basic training at Marine Corps boot camp, I meet so many people that are like, I wish I would have joined when I was younger. I wish I would have joined. The military can be anybody's game, but I'm gonna be very frank. It's a young man, young woman's game. You need to be young when you're doing these things because you're gonna need time to grow and adapt, right? And if you come in there as an older person that has more life experience, a lot of people have a hard time stepping down and taking orders from, you know, a 23 year old staff sergeant. They'd be like, well, I'm older than you. Well, guess what? Army rug doesn't care. He's an E6, three stripes up, one rocker. You're E fuzzy, suck it up. And it sucks, but if that staff sergeant's in the right, you got to do what he says. So it's a young man's game. And sometimes depending on your MOS, it can take a toll on your body. So you want to get in and just take the chance. And guess what? If you don't like it, it's not forever. You're going to get out and do what you have to do. And now you've just bettered yourself on every job application thing you go to as long as you were a good you know, service member. Just go for it. Don't be afraid. Don't listen to the people that are telling you, oh, I don't want you to die. I don't know about this. Because guess what? They're not there. And any service member I've spoken to that has gone to the military never regretted it because they did what they wanted to do. I was with someone that I'm no longer with and she joined the Navy. She wanted to go to college and stay here with me. And I was like, no, go chase your dream. Why? Because no one stopped me from joining the Marine Corps. So I'm not going to stop you from joining the Navy. Get it out of your system. And guess what? Got it out of her system, you know, and did what she did just like everybody else. So go forward with it and don't regret it. And you're going to see once you get through with it. Oh my gosh, I'm so proud. They're going to post you and talk about you and then wait till the benefits kick in. Oh, do you, do you get your GI, uh, your GI bill? Do you have your VA loan? Oh, can we go to the commissary? Whoa, 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 whoa. I thought, I thought the military was, was terrible. And you're going to see a lot of people in colleges too. Oh, I'm going to be a lawyer. I'm going to do X, Y, and Z. And I'm not bashing them. They might do that, but you're going to see a lot of people that fall off and go, now I'm going to join the military because I don't know what to do. So just get it out of your system now and do it. And that's why the guard or the reserves in any branch is the best thing ever. Because guess what? You don't like it. You're coming right back home. It's a part-time gig. Do your time and get out. And if you absolutely need a getaway, guess what? Active duty is where it's at. And when I say getaway, I'm not talking about running away from your problems. If you have a family you need support, go, go in because you'll get housing on base or if you get off you get bh your kids are taken care of your spouse can get jobs it sets you up for what you need so don't worry about all the negative things focus on what it could do for you and again just take that dive don't listen to people you only get this chance sometimes once in a lifetime because you may qualify when you're 18 you might not qualify when you're 25 so that's why it's called recruiting any easy podcast <laughs> <laughs> Facts. <laughs> Reminds me of uh, uh, 8 Mile with the M&M. You only got one chance, one opportunity. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> exactly. There you go. Listen to M. Facts. So, um, yeah, I say just go for it. Like, uh, you're going to run into people that are going to be naysayers. Like, and a lot of times, people are not doing anything special with their life, but they know exactly what to do with your life. And you shouldn't join the military because of ABC and they're not doing anything special with their life. Everyone has an opinion and opinion, in my opinion, are like assholes and everyone seems to have one. And honestly, like I joined uh, in 2001 pre 9-11 before, like we were in peacetime and I was still looked at like a second class citizen. Oh, that's a, that's a last resort option. Why would you go there? And like the guidance counselors treated me totally different after I told them my plans to join the guard. And it, it was, uh, it was crazy, but um, you know, pardon my French, but fuck the noise. Like seriously, like people, unless they're paying your bills, putting a roof over your head, closing your back, food in your stomach, money in your pocket. Thank you for your opinion. I'll, I'll, I'll factor that into my decision-making process, but I'm not going to make that my sole thing that I'm going to weigh in on my decision, right? Because everyone's unique circumstances and experiences dictate, you know, how their experience was. So, um, yeah, just go, go for it. Like, even if you do just three years, which is the minimum contract in the National Guard, right? Or two to four years, depending on if you're going active duty. That's if you live to be 100, which is quite likely these days with technology and everything that's going on. So two to four years out of your life is literally two to 4% out of your life. That's it. And you're going to acquire so many experiences, skill sets, benefits. Um, it's literally going to change your life. It, I know it's changed for mine and I'm pretty sure it's changed yours. And um, yeah, so I actually have a kid now in my DM. He reached out to me on, on YouTube. I told him to hit me up on Instagram. He joined the core, okay. super motivated, Raw. started telling everybody, same thing. Oh, that's whack. You shouldn't do that for ABC. And now he's deterred. 
he's gone through the pulleys program and he started out motivated and now he's like thinking to himself i'm weak i can't mentally handle this i want to quit and i'm trying to peel the onion to get to the real why right. and it's tough he, he's basically saying that he now feels like he's too weak and mentally not strong enough and he'd rather quit now before leaving versus going there to quit eventually and then being stuck there for 30 to 90 days before they finally process him out of the training site so i i get what he's saying and all that but n nothing he's sharing with me so far in the dms is telling me like you don't have a legitimate reason like you're just doubting yourself and that's it's like the biggest thing that you should not do what would you share with this guy um because you were in the corps yeah first of all congratulations on making you know the decision you want to join the marine corps right or a branch in general um two if you're that hesitant about it go reserves i don't know if you're active duty or whatnot but understand this that contract is not set in stone until literally the day you're shipping out right and listen it does give recruiters a headache and a nightmare because you're locked in your set but technically you can you know change your mos or what you want to do technically um contract wise reserves before you ship out so don't act like all hope is lost depending on what option you uh, it is with that being said take your family your friends and everyone talking to you out of the situation loved ones and say if i was here by myself right now no one existed what would i want to do and the marine corps was still there because that's what i did i said if i'm not with this person or i'm not doing x y and z what would i be doing i joined the marine corps so take people out of it because we start building a life sometimes around our attributes and that could be family that could be loved ones that could be just about anything right you're not losing anything by trying the marine corps right if you fail at it and you honestly fail not quit you honestly fail what did you lose you didn't lose anything you tried it and it didn't work out but don't force it not to work out because you're quitting before you even got there right if i handed you a million dollars and i was like all you gotta do is go to boot camp and try you'd try then because you're like oh well if i fail i fail right same thing just take everyone out of the equation and say what would i do if it was just me and go from there and build yourself up stay around the poolies they're motivated i was a poolie like all we did was hang out in the recruiting office and go to poolie functions and rah rah semper fi right like get that motivation going you know whether it's false motivation or not keep that instilled in you because i can promise you right now if you decide to cancel your contract completely or you do what you want to do and get out of the military number one you might not have the same opportunity to come back right um depending on how you get out of the marine corps number two you're going to always think back, well, what if, what if, what if? You're going to see them in their dress blues on Memorial Day, on Veterans Day. You're going to see the commercials. You're going to see whatever Call of Duty game you, you, you play. You're going to, you know, see your other friends doing it. And you're going to regret it. Like me, for example. I'll give you a perfect example. Try not to make it too long. But I did NYPD school safety, which is a portion of NYPD because I couldn't do regular NYPD without my college credits being set up, right? Or my full military time. So I went through school safety to get into NYPD and I, I passed school safety with flying colors, they're great. But then I'm like, oh, NYPD pay isn't that good. And people are telling me, go to this department, that department, X, Y, and Z. Well, I tried another department. I went to Maryland and tried Baltimore County Police Department. And I left the academy because I realized it wasn't where I wanted to be. I wanted to be a New York City police officer. I wanted to be NYPD. So now I'm watching all my friends graduate and do what I want to do. And I'm listening to other people because X, Y, and Z. And it's not always rainbows and unicorns. The grass is not always greener on, on the other side. So now I'm here I am pursuing the New York City Police Department at 25, finally doing what I want to do, not caring about anybody else. Because guess what? I'm like, why are you still on the job? Oh, well, no excuse. You're still on the job, right? You clearly like it to an extent, you know? So if I was you, cancel everybody out and just go full URA um, and find, find your reason. That's all I could really say. Well, I hope he continues to serve. Like I'm not his Marine Corps recruiter, but I'm trying to save him from making a, a mistake because oftentimes as a recruiter of 20 years now, I get so many uh, DMs letting me know, hey, listen, I fucked up. Back in the day, I, I dropped out and I wish I went back. Now I'm too freaking old to go back in. And, you know, you're gonna look back and left and you say, I, I, I'm glad I did or I wish I had. Which one do you wanna be? Right there. So choose wisely because the choices you make today are gonna shape your tomorrow. Go, go, cool. Leave.